Now, a, a thing that is really important is to think about, does this work? So one of my students, uh, we had a master's program, uh, interviewed 520 people who had been on live foods for two years, minimum of two years. So there's an 87% improvement in emotional balance and mental clarity and, and, and spiritual experience, spiritual inspiration. And that in itself is good. But today we have a plague epidemic of depression. So many people are on antidepressants, and, I mean, and anxiety. So 400% decrease, decrease in depression, 300% decrease in anxiety. That's very significant. What I observe, because like, okay, that's really interesting. I kind of know that, but that's strong, strong data, is that when you go to live food, it actually stimulates and normalizes your neurotransmitters, which balances the brain. And if you're low on certain neurotransmitters, like dopamine and serotonin, things like that, it makes you depressed. It's not that complicated. And the really interesting finding is when people went to live food, that stuff goes away because we are increasing and bringing back and rebalancing the neurotransmitters. Now, I've researched that up a bunch of times, just uh, clinical research, but that's a very important finding. It kind of validates it in that way. And I, I have people who, um, you know, just doing that, turn that around. Now, I also have a book called Depression Free for Life, so I have a little experience with this. And again, the live food plays a very, very big role in helping people become, well, basically we cure 90% of, of people with depression, just with diet and some supplements. So that's really important because with the antidepressants, you have lots of side effects, including, believe it or not, four times more suicide. Um, so it's like, wait, you're taking an antidepressant and you're getting suicide? Well, yes, it does happen. It's, it's a fact. Um, one of my major mentors when I was a psychiatrist in the 70s was Jonathan Coles, who had been head of the National Institute of Mental Health. And he even testified in front of the FDA, the FDA although they weren't as interested, hey, you got three to four times more depression. Uh, suicide, and they didn't want to hear that. And you know, you need a you need a warning on your label that this antidepressant can cause these problems. And it's kind of well known now, but it also, if you look at uh, most of the school shootings, they're usually on some kind of antidepressant or antipsychotic, which alters the mind, agitates the mind. This is very real stuff. That's all I want to talk about, except to understand live food will rebalance the brain and bring things back into normal. Because of that, addictions go down. Now, that's actually, to me, a low score, because when you're eating really well, the main driving force behind addiction is dopamine not being sufficient. What's dopamine? It's what stimulates the pleasure centers. And our driving force behind addiction is low dopamine. You're just not having much pleasure in life, so you do something to get some pleasure. The live food will activate the dopamine, increase the dopamine, and people feel a lot more joy and peace, and that's part of the antidepressant and anti-anxiety effect. 300% increase in energy. Seriously, 92%, but I think even more, improvement in immune system. 68% less chronic disease, 200% increase in menses comfort. The woman doing this, that was actually one of her main things. So she really had a very extensive questionnaire on that point. And she uh, really documented how, how effective in, in different ways 
about uh, really decreasing all the discomfort during menses. So that was a actually an important finding. Significant decrease in constipation. There's a live food goes through the, the system in uh, 25 to 40 hours and cooked in junk food, it takes 40 to 100 hours. So there, there's a reason for why that happens. Um, obviously, less laxative uh, use, 18,000 <laughs> percent. Decrease in antacids and increase in your sensitivity. You get more turned on to life. That's more what the creativity is. All five senses are working better. You experience everything more in that way. And again, an increase of around 200% in energy, at least in mice, but really in adults.